So on today's video I thought I'd talk briefly about uh, the 18th release on Boss Tunage, uh, released back in 1993, which was Miranda Warning. <laughs> So Miranda Warning, um, the reason that all came about is that I, they, they sent me their CD through the post. 12-speed um, pop blender and um, with a press kit and stuff like that. I think from the days when I was still doing the fanzine, I was still getting sort of demos and, and things through. Um, and I remember at this time, we're talking sort of like early 93, etc. Um, I was really into uh, Lemonheads, It's a Shame About Ray album, you know, so I was getting into more sort of like the mellower side of things. And Miranda Warning were from uh, Massachusetts, obviously home of the Lemonheads. And um, I remember sort of putting it on and thinking, yeah, this is really good, really good. It's probably the most indie, indie type uh, release we ever put out. Um, but I kind of liked it. And um, so I sort of suggested to them, uh, like I've been doing with RPN and other labels, that I would take copies, stick them as Boss Tunage releases in the UK, and sell them through our distributor and mail order. Uh, so that's what we did. Um, and they also did a cassette version of it so they sent over some CDs and cassettes I do remember it got some quite good reviews but I think it was one of those where I thought because of the sound of it we would get more sort of mainstream reviews than we ended up getting um, so the sales were okay but they weren't anything to write home about um, and I think that probably had we been able to get sort of like reviews and more copies out there into the shops then then it could have potentially done a lot better than it, it ended up doing um, so yes, it's a kind of a, a bit of a strange release. I suppose it shows where I was at, you know, um, in terms of what I was listening to and, and, and what was exciting me at the time. Um, it's a long way from kind of, you know, stuff that we're releasing on Boss Tunage today in terms of how it sounds. But, um, you know, at that point, you know, with my long hair and uh, yeah, in the post-grunge era, uh, I loved it at the time. So, um, yeah, there isn't really a lot more else to, to say about it. I sort of lost touch with the band, and I remember in, nine, in 1999, um, when I started the label back up again, I did try to make contact back with them, but I, 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 to no avail, unfortunately. So quite what Miranda Warning did before or after that, I'm, I'm not as that sure. Um, I know that 12 Speed Pop Lender, I think, was their third release, their third album. They had done some other ones as well. Um, but like I say, yeah, if you like that kind of, you know, uh, early 90s lemon headsy kind of indie, indie punk, shall we say, pop, then um, it's, it's not, yeah, it's quite a good record, but it, it isn't kind of what I would say is a representative or standard kind of boss tunage release. That's it for this quite short video. See you on the next one. Place to